Today we are going to be working on a real world problem where you will need to use trigonometry to solve, uh, specifically the, cos the cosine law. So, question six. A radar station at point A is tracking two ships. Ship B is 4.5 kilometers away in a direction 42 degrees east of north. Ship C is 3.3 kilometers away in a direction 58 degrees west of north. How far apart are the two ships to the nearest tenth of a kilometer? So let's just jot this down. So whenever you have a uh, degree and radical questions like these, you should probably um, jot down a grid of an X and Y axis. Um, so a radar station at point A, we can consider port, uh, point A the origin in this case, since it's the starting mention. And then ship B is 4.5 kilometers away in a direction 42 degrees east of north. Well, we know that north is this way and we know that east is this way. So 42 degrees east of north. Um, so this means that ship B is right here. This is B. This is 4.5 kilometers. And since it says east of north, east of north, 42 degrees. So that's what that means. So 42 degrees east of north. This is the angle. Um, and ship C is 3.3 kilometers away in a direction 58 degrees west of north. So what does that mean? Well, we know that west is this way, north is this way. 3.3 kilometers approximately. Draw around that much. I don't have to be exact. Just be reasonable. And in a direction 58 degrees west of north. West of north. 58 degrees. Alright. So we have the 3.3 kilometers and we have the 4.5 kilometers. Um, this is A. Um, and this is C. So now we want to know how far apart the two ships are. So draw a line that connects C and B because we want to know this distance, how far apart are ship C and ship B. So how do we figure this out? We need to use the cosine law. So first of all, let's add up these two angles, these two given angles, 58 degrees plus 42 degrees. And that we get 100 degrees. That's the total angle, 100 degrees. And the cosine law states um, that you need an angle of a triangle and you need two adjacent side lengths to the angle to find out the opposite side length to the angle. So the law, so this is the formula for the cosine law. Let's call this length, um, let's call this length, let's just call it A. All right, because it's opposite to the angle A. So this is the rule. A squared equals to A squared equals to the the other the adjacent angle the, it, the adjacent side to the angle squared, um, which is B squared, let's just call this length B and C because B and C are adjacent to the this given angle. So B squared plus C squared, so this adjacent side squared plus this adjacent side squared minus 2bc cos, in this case we have a. Alright, so, so this basically means that if you have an angle and you have two of the adjacent side lengths, um, the opposite side length to the angle squared equals to one of the adjacent sides squared plus the other adjacent side squared minus two times 
one adjacent side times the other adjacent side times cos of the angle. All right, so that's a better explanation. Um, so let's substitute our values here. We don't know a, lowercase a. a squared equals b squared. Um, we have 3.3 .3 squared uh, plus c squared, um, 4.5 squared. And by the way, b and c, uh, these two adjacent um, sides can be um, inversed. Um, minus 2 times 3.3 .3 times 4.5 um, times the cos of the angle, which in this case is 100 degrees. Alright, so after doing some simplifying, I'm just going to skip the simplifying and you're going to get a value that a squared equals 36.3 um, kilometers squared. Um, we want to figure out the length of a, the distance in between the two ships. So a equals root of 36.3. Take the square root of 36.3 and you get approximately 6 six kilometers. Therefore, the distance um, in between the two ships is six kilometers. That's how you use the cosine law.